Hey everyone, this is Brian with Aero Teardrops, and today I'm going to give you a tour of a trailer we have available immediately for purchase. This is a trailer that we built for the 2022 auto show, and now it's ready to go to a great new home. So we'll start back here in the galley first. Um, one thing to note is that all of our trailers come with rear stabilizer jacks. That's, that's just a standard item we include on everything. They crank down, give you a nice sturdy base for the trailer while you're out camping. Um, we debuted this new cabinetry at the auto show, and this is the first trailer that uh, we've completed with the new uh, cabinetry. It has locking knobs, and you pop out the knob and then turn it, and it opens the cabinet. Nice sturdy uh, closure, you know, for keeping things inside the cabinet while you're bouncing down the road on, on your adventures. And then they close with just a push. Both cabinets are the same, both open. The shelf is adjustable, so you can raise and lower it to co accommodate a lot of different things. This countertop is a full depth countertop, just like a regular kitchen. Lots of prep area. Um, you know, you can get cutting boards out and start chopping vegetables and all that fun stuff. Um, this trailer also has our pull-out stove option. It's a two-burner Dometic stove, and it'll have a wind guard on it when, we're, uh, when it's ready to go. We just leave it off for the show. Next to that, we have a nice big storage cabinet. It's about 28 inches deep. And stuff a lot of stuff in there. And finally down here we have the CFX 335 Dometic refrigerator. It's on a Dometic slide and it has a locking lever here that locks it in for travel and locks it out while you're using it. Nice area for uh, food and nice little LED light. So you can see your way into it at nighttime for those midnight snacks. And on the outside over here, we have our extended table option, our extended side table is what we call it. And that gives you uh, some nice additional counter space, you know, for while you're uh, cooking or if you want to set this up for serving food. Great for a bucket of beers and some chips and salsa. And then lastly, we have the electrical system in the galley here. So this is the overhead switch for the overhead lights in the galley here. There's a 12 volt power port located here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the USB port. And on this side is the 12 volt power port. Below that is the voltage meter, shows the uh, voltage of the battery. Right now it's plugged into shore power, so you're seeing that higher voltage from the uh, converter. And here on the left is a 120 volt GFCI outlet. This is the 35 amp WIFCO power center. It's auto detecting, which is nice. So it will detect um, a variety of different batteries. So we have options for AGM and lithium. Right now it's set up for a uh, standard wet RV battery and if you were to connect a lithium battery to it it would read that and switch modes and give the adequate charging and everything for that lithium battery. Pretty nice. So let's do a little walk around of the outside here. Um, this trailer is a high clearance with our um, optional fuel wheels and BFG KO2 tires. Has a 3,500 pound Timbrin axleless suspension on it, which makes it really nice for getting down the you know rougher roads um, and uh, giving the uh, the trailer the nice ride that it needs to uh, to uh, ride softly down down all those bumpy roads. Up front is our tongue box option. Nice big storage area, storing all kinds of gear has a lock on it uh, for security. In front of that is our standard um, Group 24 80 amp hour wet battery. We can do, like I said, lithium batteries and AGM batteries and all kinds of stuff, but this is the standard battery that comes with all of our trailers. And a swivel jack with wheel. 
On the roof here, we have rhino rack, roof rack system, and the Free Spirit 78-inch vehicle awning. This rhino rack system is great because it can hold all kinds of uh, modern rack uh, accessories, just about anything on the market. Uh, this also has a max fan. It's the 10-speed um, max fan. has a thermostat, I believe, and is a really great option uh, for a roof vent. And then around to the other side here, we have our side-mounted spare tire. It's a matching spare. And our side-mounted propane tank that connects to the pull-out stove that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Uh, side doors here have a sliding window with screen and a deadbolt for a little extra security. You can lock the deadbolt from the inside or the outside. And there is a lock on the handle as well. We also have some magnetic catches up here that hold the, the doors open. Uh, you know, when you're pulling stuff in and out of the trailer, you won't have the door, you know, caught in the wind and swinging back on you. And let's move inside. So inside the trailer, we have our interior table option. That table drops straight into the floor and this becomes a queen size bed, very close to a queen size actually. It's a 54 by 80 inches, so six foot eight from head to toe. Also our new interior cabinetry is in this trailer and I'm gonna walk around the other side and open the other door and show you how all that works. So our new cabinetry is, is like the galley cabinetry. It has the push button latches. You give them a quarter turn, they pop open. Lots of storage in here. Great place for clothing, duffel bags, you name it. Um, all board games even fit in here. There's some nice cubbies down below. And then this is where the stereo system would go if you selected the optional stereo system, but we make it a, another little cubby for uh, for the standard um, setup. This is the ZAMP solar controller that runs the Lightleaf solar panel on the back and we'll talk about that in just a minute. There's a 12 volt power port here and a, another 120 volt um, outlet. And these outlets are active while you're plugged into shore power or connected to another 120 uh, volt um, power source. Uh, also in this interior, we've got two reading lights on both sides of the head of the bed here and some little corner shelves with um, USB ports. And I'm going to show you how this uh, table converts into a bed, how quick and easy it is to get that switched over. So this leg will just pop out and then the tabletop drops into the floor here, nice flush floor. And then this just tumbles out. There you go. And like I said, it was it's six foot eight from head to toe. So very comfortable sleeping area. And now let's talk about the light leaf solar panel that's on the uh, rear of the trailer here. So on the hatch here, we have light leaf solar panel system and this is a 100 watt panel right now it's mounted and connected into this solar port up here and while it's connected into that port it's providing um, solar energy to the trailer so it's maintaining the battery and whatnot as long as it's parked in a in a way that the sun is directly on this panel the thing i really like about this is now when you get into a campsite you can unlock these little cams down here and the panel pulls off the trailer and you can disconnect it from the port and there's a little kickstand back here so this little kickstand pops out and you can set this up anywhere this thing only weighs a few pounds it's pretty amazing it's carbon fiber they've really come a long way with these 
This sets out on the ground. You can, you can set it in an orientation. It'll capture the best sunlight. And they provide an extension lead that you can now plug into the side port. So you're not having to reach up on the hatch to plug it in. We've just included an extra port here. So this trailer is available right now for sale. Um, we're asking, the asking price on this trailer is $24,552. It comes with a lot of options and is readily available. So if you'd like uh, to inquire about purchasing Willow, please uh, drop us a, a line and uh, we'll get you set up. Thanks.